Howdy folks, you're watching Deucing Guns and today we're going to talk about how loud a deuce and a half is. Now all over the cab there's two places on each door has one place, one sign that says to wear hearing protection when driving at all times. And I, I agree, if you're going to be driving this thing for a long haul, then you would probably want some hearing protection. It may not actually cause permanent hearing damage or hearing loss, but it'll be like after a long concert where when you when you finally shut off that engine you have that like that presence of or the the non-presence of sound that kind of is unnerving you definitely get that after driving deuce and a half for about an hour so let's find out let's see how loud a deuce is i'll be using my phone as the decimal meter and basically what i'll do is just run it and we'll see how loud a deuce is when it's idling when it's running when it's up when it's down on the highway and of course outside and inside. So we're going to do a lot of that. Now, of course, the phone decimal meter apps aren't 100% scientifically accurate, but it will give you an idea of what's going on. Windows up. There we go. Now let's try it.
Friday. Well, that was very interesting. Number one, I found out that my app on my phone only went to 90 decibels and I maxed it out on several occasions. So I'm not sure after testing, I still have no idea how, how loud the deuce is, but I got a good idea. Have a good idea about what's going on there. And uh, I did test it with the windows up, with the windows down, and several other scenarios. Highway speed, of course, I got up about 50 miles an hour. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the numbers, crunch them, and then uh, we're gonna discuss them back down at the bunker. Alrighty, folks, let's crunch these numbers. Now, the deuce and a half was when it was tooling around town, whether the windows were up or down, you were hitting about somewhere between 85 and 90 decibels, which is pretty loud, but of course, everything about the deuce and a half is outrageous, including the noise. So 85 to 90 when you're tooling around town, which means per OSHA standards, your, your hearing will not be damaged regardless of how much time you spend in that environment. When a deuce and a half is at highway speed, so 45 to 50 miles an hour, you are hitting at least 90. Now, I was right on the very edge because my decibel meter app only read to 90 decibels, unfortunately. And a lot of the cheaper decibel meters do that. They stop at 90 because it's all the same chipset that I have in the phones. So the, the meter stops at 90. I probably got a few decimal points above that at the higher RPMs per OSHA standards uh, without hearing protection you'd be looking at, oh, between eight and six hours of accumulated time per day. That's a lot of time at highway speeds in a deuce and a half. Now, I spent three days driving this thing across country. Uh, I did not go all the way across the country, by the way, but I went uh, down the interstate for three solid days getting this deuce and a half home, and I'm pretty sure I did not spend an accumulated eight hours at highway speed. Anyone who's, who's driven a deuce and a half knows that eight hours in a deuce and a half is a very long day. That's a very, very long day to be at highway speed. And now how does a deuce and a half compare to other vehicles? Well, I only have two other vehicles. The other one is my F-250, my 1997 F-250 with a 7.3 liter diesel engine, which is one of the louder diesel engines for, for personal use, for private use. And it was, I was surprised by how loud the F-250 was. Around town, I was hitting mid-70s, but I was approaching a 80, a low 80s actually, at highway speed, which I could not believe. So again, it's gonna be safe hearing protection wise. I would not need hearing protection driving my F-250 down, down the road. Now, my other vehicle is the Fiesta. I, have, I live in a country, I work in a city. There's a long distance between my house and where I work. So I need a, a gas zipper vehicle and that Fiesta fits the bill. Also, I like the fact that it's very, very quiet, and the decimal meter did not lie about that. When I was driving around normally, I was hitting, I was actually right around 68 to 72 in normal speeds, and that, that was pretty, that was, that's pretty impressive. That is a very, very quiet vehicle. That's, that's conversational. Actually, that's quieter than conversation. And lastly, let's talk about OSHA. OSHA standards. Well, if you're not familiar with it or if you're an overseas viewer, OSHA stands for Occupational Safety and Health. And what they do is evaluate work environments for, for dangers, for things that, that can hurt you, that can injure the, the worker, and verifies that the safety measure, proper safety measures have been completed and taken care of by the employer. OSHA is fairly conservative with their, with their values, with their ideas. Properly so, too, as well, because everybody is different. We're, we're, not, we're not computers. We're not digital. We are an analog machine. The human body is an analog machine, so what damages my hearing may not damage your hearing. It has nothing to do with how strong you are or anything or how, how stubborn you are against sounds. Uh, it just depends on how your, how your genetic makeup is. And my hearing may be damaged in a certain area, a certain time period that yours is not and vice versa. So they really go with a conservative number because there's no way to know whether a sound will damage your hearing or not be damage your hearing until after the damage is already done. Well, guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go up, subscribe. A lot more is on the way. And if you have any comments, questions, or show what it is, leave that in the comment box below the video. And of course, you guys have a great day. See ya.